hear that? That is the sounds of old Beijing. Hello, everybody. My name is William, and I am downtown in the city today, in a place called Shen Yuko, or Fresh Fish Mouth. As the name and these statues in front of me, you might guess that this was a place in old Beijing where people traded fish. Up ahead of me, in the north, is a Forbidden City and the Tiananmen Square. And to my west is Tiananmen Commercial Street, some of Beijing's well-known tourist sites. But today, I don't want to take you to these. I would like to take you to somewhere a little bit different, somewhere I like to think of as a hidden gem in the city. So stay with me, and I'll take you on a little tour. Follow me. Here we are in Chenmen Sanlihe, tucked away in the Hutong alleyways of old Beijing. The Sanlihe waterways around Chenmen were first constructed in the Ming Dynasty. This beautiful scenic spot we're at now is called Zhengyang Guanshui, which, as you can see, is quite beautiful. We have the water flowing under lovely, quaint little bridges, willow trees are blowing in the wind, and the surrounding historical courtyards, their blue and grey tiles today glistening in the sun. So a little bit about the history here. These waterways were actually built in fears that excessive rain may cause flooding to this area around the Sanlihe River. It really is a very peaceful place and you can see people enjoying the life and coming here to get a taste of old Beijing. And of course if you've had a strong long day walking you can stop off and have a coffee and watch the world go by. Compared to other green spaces and parks in the city, Sanliha has relatively few tourists. The reeds on the banks of the side of the river offer some privacy as you stroll down this 600 meter long waterway. Now we've come on to Qingyun Hutong, and on my left here is the former residence of famed Peking opera star Mei Lang Feng. And it was in this residence that Mei Lang Feng really honed his craft and became the Peking opera star that the world knows today. Walking around Sanlinghe area, you can not only see natural beautiful scenery, but you can also walk into the alleyway hutongs to see a little bit about local life. And it's within these hutongs that we also find some meeting halls. And these meeting halls were places for literati and businessmen of different industries to gather together and congregate. This is the paint assembly hall. So we're gonna take a look inside and see what's in store. The paint assembly hall was built in the Ming Dynasty and it was originally used as a place for sacrificial offerings to the gods and the ancestors, as well as a performance venue. Compared to some of the halls in the area, the paint assembly hall has been kept relatively well intact. So it's in this beautiful venue that we end our tour today as we sit back, relax and watch a beautiful performance 
of Mei Lang Fang's classic opera, The Drunken Concubine.